Hello, welcome back. Today I'm drinking Nicta's Small Batch Original Sour Mash Whiskey. This is not a bourbon, it's an American whiskey. I believe that bourbons have to use at least 51% corn in their mash bill. I assume this uses less than 51% corn and probably a high percentage of rye in this whiskey but it was very hard to find much information online about this whiskey and most of the other Nicta's whiskies as well. This whiskey is bottled at 43% alcohol, 86 proof. It's a small batch whiskey as I say. It's batch number L182108 if anybody's interested. I don't know much about the sour mash whiskey process but I'm going to read you what it says about the process from the back of the bottle. It says we are proud to offer you our small batch sour mash whiskey in the Nicta's tradition hailing from one of America's first distillers. This whiskey is made according to our classic sour mash method with small amounts of previously fermented mash used as a starter for the new mash. It is then further mellowed by our signature filtration. This is one of the oldest distilleries in America. It started in 1753 so it is very very old indeed. This comes in a very nice bottle I really like the design. It's very, very stylish. It is naturally coloured, I believe, and it is chill filtered. It does say that on the back of the bottle. It's bottled at 43% alcohol, not very strong. Pour the glass out a little while ago now. It is quite dark in colour. Not super dark. Has a very sweet nose. I can smell brown sugar. Oranges. Honey. And a little bit of an alcohol smell. I don't want to put my nose too close to the glass. A nice nose. On the taste. It is really, really sweet. I get brown sugar, toffee, honey, orange up front, and it trails off into a nutty creamy finish I also detect a 
slight bit of apple. On the finish as well. I'll have a second sip. Okay, on the second sip, again, up front, it's really, really sweet. Got the brown sugar, oranges. Honey. A tiny bit spicy as well, I would say. In the mid palette. It's extremely gentle. I get no alcohol burn whatsoever. It's only 43% alcohol, 86 proof. It's very easy to drink. The finish is creamy, nutty. And right at the back, a hint of apple. The finish is medium. I'm going to have one more sip. I've had this whiskey for just over two weeks, I think. I wanted to wait a few weeks before I reviewed it. I've had over half a bottle now. That shows you how much I like this whiskey. I'm going to give this whiskey a strong 8 out of 10. I really like it, it's very easy to drink, it's not harsh at all, it's very sweet, it's a very good whiskey for a beginner I would say, somebody who hasn't really tried much bourbon or American whiskey, this is a very good one to try, it's very easy to drink as I say. It's sweet, it's really like a very light bourbon I would say, it's not as harsh as some other bourbons I've tried, it's sweet with a little bit of spice, not too much, I was recommended this whiskey by the whiskey dude Matt. I would like to thank him for recommending this whiskey. I'm going to give it a strong 8 out of 10. I like it quite a lot. The only minor criticism I have of it is it's quite expensive. It cost me around £50 here in the UK. That is more expensive than the US, but most American whiskies are. I will probably pick this up again, or one of the other Michter's whiskies, maybe the American whiskey. I haven't decided yet, but this is one that I would definitely buy again. It's just a little bit expensive but all the Michter's whiskies are. I highly, highly recommend this one. Great stuff. Okay, I'll be back soon with another review. Take care. Bye-bye.